This is Imbalance Physical Therapy and Full Circle Coaching, coming to you with Big Toe Extension, how to stretch it. You need at least 30 degrees extension to be efficient when you're running. And so when you first wake up in the morning, what you can do is cross one leg over. Um, make sure you, when you pull the big toe back into extension to stretch it, that your ankle is at least at 90 degrees. You're not having your, your foot pointed down. Um, and that you can take the opposite thumb Aaron's doing, and you could be mobilizing and flossing the area by pushing down and then dragging the foot back and forth. The toe goes back and forth. Be careful that the ball of the foot is not coming inward too much, so you're stabilizing it, so you're really getting extension of that joint, and it's not just sliding down. The other way is to get on the mat, and again, you must be barefoot for this, and tuck your toes underneath you, making sure your toes are spread apart, and you can lean back on that. You can also work on moving different angles. She's got a lot of toe extension there. You may not have that. So be gentle and be careful not to jam it back too quickly. Rock from side to side. Rock forward and back and then give a little twist. Remember, everything's always three-dimensional. Three planes of motion. Sagittal, frontal, and transverse. And now we're going to go into um, having enough motion in your soleus muscle for ankle dorsiflexion when you're running. So against the wall, we're going to stretch out the soleus muscle. And a lot of you do this runner's calf stretch where the leg is straight. Stop doing that. <laughs> You're causing some micro tears in that muscle, especially before you run. So the dynamic warm-up is for before running. Static stretching is for after running. So this is, we're going to show you a little dynamic movement here with the knee bent to get that foot and ankle moving in the transverse plane. And then the static movement to stretch to get more motion if you're lacking motion and if you've been analyzed um, during the peak performance running analysis, you know whether you need that more motion or not. So statically, she's going to stand there with the knees, the back knee is going to be bent, and right? she's going to roll her foot out a little bit, and she can place a little bit of a towel under the big toe. Just make sure you're rolling your foot out a little bit or lifting up that big toe, and she's going to statically hold that. With the static stretches, you want to hold over a minute and just breathe into that, and she can move three-dimensionally to find out where she's the tightest. She can move forward. Straight forward, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Just making sure she's getting some triplanar stretching there and then holding that position when she finds a tight spot. All right, that's it. Run on.